Stephen hasn't finished. Yeah, it's all about respect. Now, earlier on, uh, Jill actually asked, uh, if you feel you make your, your partner uh, uncomfortable, uh, please stand up. I know John did. I'll come to you in a second, John, but you didn't, uh, no. Peter. Why don't you feel you do? Well, I've looked after her for 21 years. Yeah. To the best of my ability. Okay. And... I don't think I'm, I'm, I, I know I admit that um, I'm rather dominant in the relationship, okay. but I, I still don't think I make her feel uncomfortable. Okay, well you said earlier that you are trying to repair the relationship yeah. and uh, it sounded as though you were prepared to perhaps sort of compromise on, you know, what's making her uncomfortable, yeah. sort of 18 hours. Yeah, we have. Could you stand up, if you are serious about repairing the relationship, could you sort of stand up and as Colin's just done there and say something nice that you like about your partner? Certainly. You want her to stand up? No, no. You, no. You... This is Pamela. Yeah. We've been together 21 years. Yeah. And I love her dearly. Yeah. Right. And she's also the mother of two of my children. Yeah. Right. Who I'm very, very proud of. What else do you like about her? She's a good cook. Yeah. She looks after me. Okay. Right. And it's through her. I'm like this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Take a seat. Thank you. Thank can you. I, can I make okay. a request, Stephen? You certainly can. Stand up again. <laughs> Stand the other side of him with your mic. This is all a bit technical okay. now. We're making, oh, this up. We're making this up as we go. No, no, okay. no, 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 no. round the other side. Oh, what sorry. I basically want is Peter to say that to Pamela. Okay, here we go. Because it was fantastic that he said it to Stephen. Okay. Now say it to Pamela. I've got a hot flush, I'll be honest. Okay, take a seat. <laughs> I want you to look at it. He makes a beautiful woman. <laughs> this is Pamela. My partner, we've been together 21 years. Okay, hang on. You're still not... I don't want you to talk to Stephen. I want you I'm to so, say Pamela. Pamela. Oh, sorry. We've Complete been together, focus. so oh. look at her. <sighs> deep breath, deep breath. Peter, it is a deep Peter, breath. Peter, Peter, this is really, really hard. Just know. even, you know, just with Col up here, we saw how hard it was. Mm. Stay with it, breathe. Have a, have a breath. Do you want to stand, do you want Pamela to stand up no, as well? No, she's all right. All right, but I want you to look at her. Take a breath. Pam, we've been together 21 years. We've been apart eight weeks, and I've been miserable every day of that. Now, now. I, th I think it deserves a hug, actually, Peter. Pamela. I think it deserves a hug. Come on, come on. Stephen, Stephen, stay there, stay there. Okay, so fantastic that he gave her that, that he felt miserable. Stand up again, Peter. Give her a compliment. So we understand that you, he feels miserable, but what do you feel about her? I think she's fantastic. I, I really do think you're fantastic, Pam. Right. You've given me two beautiful kids. You've looked after me for 21 years. You've been there where I've nearly died twice. Right. Pamela, look at him. And when you lost, when, when, I, when I fought with your eldest laddie, and you nearly jacked me in for that, you dropped him and came to my bedside. And I don't forget things like that. Round of applause, I think, after that. You said when I came to talk to you, Pamela, that you felt your confidence was very low. How, how does that make you feel, him saying that? <laughs> so proud to hear him say it. Aww. Have you ever said it before? No. Do you, in terms of repairing the relationship, do you feel like you could say it again? You know, that you could actually say things like that that would be able to repair this rift between you? In 21 years, <clears throat> I've never told her I've loved her. I mean, yeah, I've said it at certain intimate moments that we all go through, but I can't honestly say I've said it and meant it. It's only in this last eight weeks when she's been gone. I mean, I go to her house every day, but I go home to an empty house. And it's not the fact of going home to an empty house. It's going home to a house she's not in. Yeah. Aww. Right? Thank you very much for that. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you, Peter. John, that's going to be a hard one to follow. <laughs> With that in mind, because I know you did stand up earlier and you do feel that you, you, cause, uh, you cause your partner discomfort, in what way do you feel you do that? I feel that because of all the affairs I've had in the past, that Hillary feels degraded, that she feels worthless and she's got no self-confidence, and that's my fault. OK, is that completely on the change now? Yes, it is. Yeah. Would you like to stand up and just tell Hillary why it is that you're absolutely bonkers about her? Hilary, we've been together for 35 years now and no one, I don't care who they are, no one would have put up with what you've put up from me than from anyone else. I appreciate it. 
I don't care if people think I'm a wimp for saying it. I've done what Colin's done. I've been there, done it all. There's nothing clever about it. And if you've got something good at home, then hold on to it, fight for it. If you haven't, clear off, leave it behind. You can't do both. You can't have your cake and eat it. And that's John, exactly what he wants to do. What are you committed to for the future? Um, tell, tell Hillary. We'll stay together. I want you to trust me. I want to be able to prove that I can be trustworthy. And I just want us just to go together. And that's it. Finish our lives together. Are you prepared? Um, now you've had a bit of breathing space for the last sort of eight weeks. You're 15 miles apart. Are you prepared to perhaps try and give it a go as boyfriend, girlfriend? But to sort of start a fresh I am then prepared to give it a go to as give it a go. go. But that doesn't mean to say the ultimate goal will be living together. That's Why? Okay. No, okay. No, 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 no. This is what I'm trying to explain to everybody. Let me finish. Let me finish. In doing no, that. I, I don't in, think they are. Colin, sorry, let me just finish. In doing that, would you also be prepared to be faithful to? Barbara. If it was an exclusive relationship, yeah. then it would, the, faith, the faithfulness would be with an exclusive relationship, obviously. Yes. Even though yeah. you're living in separate houses. Yeah. Yes. Just, I think actually maybe these two at the back, we'll okay. see. Okay, grab Bye. a seat. Thanks. Big <laughs> hug. Oh. Folks, can we give Barbara a round of applause? Thank you so much. You are. You're doing great. You're doing great. Now watch the video and uh, of you in that restaurant, rather plush and stuff. Mm -hmm. And you admitted you were like a little bit whiny. Do you think that might sort of come across to Colin sometimes? When yeah, you're... I didn't notice it until she said it. And the second she said it, I thought, yes, I am. OK, well, I can see that you're already starting to build your own self-esteem. I mean, A for being here and B from what you've said across there on the sofa. Mm -hmm. um, I want you to think of something that Colin's done in the relationship that's made you feel really, really angry. There was talk of an iron being thrown earlier. What had he done to make that happen? Um, sleeping with somebody else and I found okay. out about yeah. it. Yeah. So basically it's this like whole sort of treating you with disrespect. Yeah. Yeah. Could you look at one of these guys here? Because I think Paul and Marcus does it. They're actually sort of technically behind how Colin is as a person. Can you like really sort of vent your spin, really out it? I want you to get really angry and passionate and say to these two guys, start off with Paul just here, <laughs> that you will never, ever, ever disrespect me again with passion. With passion? With passion. Well, you said you're a very passionate person on the video. <laughs> yeah, but, you okay. know. <laughs> Never, ever treat me with disrespect again. OK, OK, you're feeling it now. I don't want to take it up. <laughs> but, hey, there's more here. There's, person, there's more here. Now, I really want you to feel it. I mean, think back to how furious you were when you had that iron in your hand. You were about to throw it across to the guy you love. How you felt, really tell him that he's not going to disrespect you again. You're no longer going to be a doormat. You're no longer going to take it anymore. And, you know, you are, you are special. You're special to you. You've given this guy love, and it's been disrespected. It will not happen again. Tell Marcus this time. Yes, because I didn't like you. <laughs> <laughs> then Ben to get back <laughs> Tell him. And really feel it. Get that anger out. I do really feel it. <laughs> yeah, well, tell him. <laughs> OK. Give it to him. Get it out. Come on, Come on sisters. Yeah, yeah, get it out. <laughs> Give it to him for the rest of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just tell him, just tell him. You'll never disrespect me. And mean it. If you don't mean it, don't say it. Because this could be the first day of the rest of your life, yeah? Yeah. OK, just don't tell him. Pretend that's Colin. Don't treat me like a doormat. OK, I want you to shout now. Shout, get out of the system, <laughs> shout it. Do not treat me like do a doormat not ever again. treat me like a doormat. Louder. No, that's it. No, you're, 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 do you feel that's it? One more time, one more time. Really get out of the system. Really mean it. No smiling. To, do not disrespect me again. Do not disrespect me again. OK, now look at me. No. Will you allow him to disrespect you again? Colin, no. Yeah. No, that's no. it now. Yeah, yeah. starting afresh. OK, what is it you like about yourself, Barbara? I'm a good mum. I'm a nice okay. person. OK. Your personality, why do you like your personality? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Do, you, do you feel you're an attractive person? No. Folks, boys and girls in the audience, do you feel this is an attractive person? Yeah. Silly question. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, attractive, you've got lovely smiling eyes. You've really got to start to value exactly who it is that you are. So I want you to say to me, I'm a really, really... No, come on, you can do it. The people are here behind you. I'm a really special person. I'm yeah, special. Yeah, you are special. Come up and stand beside her for me. <sighs> just to sort of... Because yeah. Vanessa's somebody who can shout it. Just, just stand beside <laughs> her. <laughs> yeah, Go on, Vanessa, yeah. take over. You're on a microphone as well. Go on. <laughs> Go. You are a beautiful special person and being a single parent like me makes you even stronger yeah, yeah.